Andrew Webb here and once again welcome to my workshop. Um, today uh, we're going to get back into some CNC work and what I'm going to do is I've been making my paddock again and I picked up a well actually this I, I cut up more than 12 months ago and um, what I'm going to do is attach these two pieces of wood on each other end just screw them on then I'm going to clamp this down to the, the bed of the CNC machine and I've got a 25mm cutter in here and I'm going to skim this down to oh just under halfway down to give you a nice flat surface and um, then I'm going to carve a Swiss um, climber halfway up a mountain uh, inside it so that uh, when it's finished um, on the back side obviously I'll have uh, the back uh, which I'll treat and varnish and on the front side you'll have a nice three-dimensional carving so we'll get on with that. Having just screwed uh, these end blocks on here I just run into a new problem where my longest uh, tea bolts I have are way too short so I'm simply going to get these other smaller blocks and screw them to my end block so I can clamp it to the bed. When clamping a piece of wood to uh, a CNC bed like this, it's uh, quite important to have the clamping bolt up as close to the work as possible and the supporting block out as far as you, you sort of uh, dare and um, that this block needs to be uh, the same height as the block that you're clamping down if not a little higher but this uh, block that you are clamping down should never be higher than this end. So the, the actual trick is, is to get the, the nose, the nose of the clamp to actually clamp down in this fashion. Not that fashion, because it can actually work loose and spit, spit the dummy. Because this is an odd shaped piece of work, um, the only thing I can do is really line it up by eye. And I can use the, the ways, the teeth slot ways, to assist me to do that. Um, because it's an irregular shape um, within a couple of mil is fine. So what I've done is uh, I've just run that program now and um, I wrote the program so it did two complete passes or overall over the whole material uh, cutting 5mm each time. So now what I have to do is uh, reset the new zero point on top of the material and run the same program again and take another two uh, layers of 5mm off. So there's the uh, new zero I'll just set that and raise the tool off the piece of wood and slow the feed right up and then press the cycle start to run the program again.
And that is exactly how it comes off the machine. So all I have to do now is to remove the, um, the blocks off the ends and to machine both uh, top and bottom off nice and square and um, give it a coat of sealant and uh, a bit of varnish I think and it's um, a finished item. Okay, um, I hope you like um, today's effort from me. Um, piece of firewood into a piece of art. Um, well, a form of art. I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, episode from me. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, please subscribe or pretty, please uh, press like. And up in the top corner up there you'll see a red box and if you press on that it'll take you um, straight to my YouTube channel where there's quite a variety of, um, of films that you can film. I'll say that again. If you'd like to press on the... I'll say it again. And there's a, a red box up in the top corner there. If you press on that It'll take you straight to my YouTube channel. Oh god. And if you. Oh, three, two, one. There's a red box up in the corner there. If you press on that, that'll take you straight to my YouTube channel where there's some nearly 55 videos that you can have a look at. So for me now, it's bye till next time.